Well, video footage and sealed evidence bags were in the spotlight during today's proceedings in the trial against EFF leader Julius Penlema and MP Mbuisi and Yintlozi. The two are accused of assaulting police officer Johannes Venter at the Four Ways Memorial Park in April 2018. A former investigating officer assigned to the case was grilled by the defense lawyer about video evidence. Joining us now, our reporter, Seharajo Mahi. So it was another day of the defense lawyer finding loopholes in the witnesses' statements. Absolutely, Shahan. Good afternoon. And as you mentioned, um, Captain Colonel, rather Colonel Charles Yanejo, he was grilled by the defence advocate Lawrence Hodes. And of course, just trying to understand from when did he get this particular footage, where did he put it, and how did it move around that it eventually ended up in court. So those are some of the issues that were raised in court today. And the Colonel, at some point himself, actually saying that he was confused, and um, it was quite interesting that he mentioned that because even then the advocate saying yes it is quite confusing what has taken place because there was a point where the colonel um, was saying that he's got the evidence he had the evidence in his person he did not sign it in to the police station um, and but there was a day when he actually signed it in and signed it out on the same day and within minutes of each other um, and he also had the footage of course that um, Bronkhorst had that we heard about yesterday and he also had footage from the particular cemetery from um, from Klingbell from from the cemetery so um, he was really questioned around when did he get which footage and which one is he using to actually which one did he use to um, investigate this particular case but let's just take a closer listen to the confusion that took place in court my arrival on my arrival at the office i booked it in sap 13 and then after that i got it here i look at the locker in after that i took it and put it inside the locker and then i locked and what did you do with it once you put it in your locker how fit the local moral locker would you link it uh kadi 23 ke ke tsia ke sa kwa on the 23rd, that is when I took it to cybercrime. I don't remember. What that? They do. I'm confused. I'm really confused. I'm really confused. I'm really confused. Okay. I would request not any laughing. It is serious, so it, you could refrain from laughing. So we just played a soundbite of Julius Malema speaking earlier regarding the Wits University protests, but what else did he say outside court about this case? Well, Shahan, he mentioned a few other things. He spoke around also his visit to President Jacob Zuma and the tea that he drank with the former president. Um, and that is what he really spoke about as well. But besides that, he also spoke about this case, saying that it really is um, something that is just to, uh, just something against um, him and Mbuisen Ndozi. He says that there's no merit, that um, the prosecution has got no merit to what they are currently saying or what they have said in court. And he feels that this particular case could really just fall flat. Let's just take a closer listen to what he said. Well, uh, there's no credible evidence left since we've been sitting here. Uh, the state is dismally failing uh, to prove uh, their case. And uh, they are now in a disparate mood and hoping to get something from uh, uh, Major General Zoom. Uh, because they think that uh, the other witnesses will not help their case. Um, so you would have established through the engagement that uh, from uh, the downloading of the video and uh, uh, the police from the protection services coming to collect the video and saying the investigating officers will come and get copies and you have that information not disclosed from the onset that uh, the protection services took the video and then from there the person who took the video says they the video was not uh, put in a evidence uh, a bag in front of them and then the other one coming to contradict the 
the same uh, witness that you uh, know it was actually put in a witness uh, uh, i mean evidence uh, bags uh, to what we now had that uh, certain pictures were removed and not disclosed to either the court or the prosecuting authority or even the defense team why those pictures were removed so it's a very clear uh, uh, you know conspiracy around the whole case that people want to arrive at the, a certain narrative when you are a state witness or a witness in court your role is to help the court arrive at a reasonable judgment so you're not here to hide any information but we can see that there's an intention to hide information